hello guys we are once again welcome to operation 4.0 online tutorials in economics and i kindly urge that we all subscribe to this website and share the links with our colleagues so that they will also be beneficiaries so we, today we are treating the islm model and what the ISL, islm model simply means is the interaction between the goods market and the money market but firstly let's deal with the is and with the is is investment savings which means that uh, investment should be equal to savings and this is an equilibrium investment equals savings and with this we can also say that the is is a curve of income expenditure considering the market interest rate which makes it demand and since it makes it demand we will say that uh, whatever income that you have it's assumed that you spend all so your income should be equal to your aggregate expenditure so since your uh, income is equal to aggregate expenditure we also know that your income sh is or your ag which is equal to aggregate uh, expenditure should be equal to consumption plus investment plus G, which is government spending or government intervention. And with this, the C plus I is a cloak setter and G with government intervention. And with the government intervention, it can be in two forms where we have G, that is government spending on the citizen, and T acts. A taxation mechanism where he the government also gets its revenue so since our uh, our income equals consumption plus investment plus J which is also equal to your aggregate expenditure aggregate expenditure and we know that with the consumption consumption here which is c is also a function of disposable income and with this dis disposable income is equal to your income minus tax and the tax also sometimes has a autonomous component where we have a t naught plus this t y so depending on how the uh, mathematical question looks like you can easily you know fix this uh, variables inside and deal with it and we will go back to the lm so going back to the lm which is also part of the model you know the lm is a liquidity preference money supply and this happens in the money market or we can also say that the LM is a curve showing all available money for investment. All available money for investment. And this makes it to be at the supply side. We said the IS is at the demand side. So with the LM also is at the supply side. So with this, since the, with the IS, uh, the, sorry, with the LM, we can also say that uh, uh, is the money supply, and with this money supply is a, a central bank that you know, or whatever happens in the money market, and mostly the government or the central bank comes in. So what the central bank does is we have money demand and money supply. The uh, central bank tries to regulate the money in the economy. That is like in the eternal economy. So with this, we can have our money supply, which this one will be uh, the nominal and we have our nominal money demand also. But when competing it, mostly they will give you your real money demand, which will be M over P. So uh, money, nominal money demand divided by the price is uh, real money and with the since if this is being given like this you and uh, the money supply is given raw like this money supply is 
constant or is vertical and is in relation with the interest rate where you can have it like this and this will be your money supply and it will be real and at any given interest rate that is it let's say zero so if uh, the interest rate rises then it, it goes up and when it come uh, it decreases it comes down so by what we should know is that the money supply is always constant so with this we can look at an example example that we will look to yeah hello guys so this is the question so let's have a critical look at it we have consumption equals 360 minus 200 r plus 0 0.1 y and the investment function the government spending and the real money demand and there's money supply which is 300 and the price is two so we will go back to the board and try solving this so coming to the solution we know that our income which is equal to aggregate expenditure should be equal to consumption plus investment plus g and in the question the consumption given consumption was given to be 360 minus 200 r plus 0 0.1 y so we have our y to be equal to 360 plus, uh, minus 200 r plus 0 0.1 y this is this uh, the consumption and with the investment uh, initially i didn't make mention by the investment as at our previous level it was uh, constant but now it's not constant now the investment is being affected by income and interest rate so the investment function given in the question so here is plus and then plus the investment uh, given in the question which is 120 minus 400 r and plus g and g given the question is 120 so we have to you know uh, group like terms where we have y minus this 0 0.1 y on the other side left hand side to be equal to the 300 plus 120 plus 120 again which gives us 600 minus yes minus 200 r and minus 400 r which also 600 r so with this we have 0 0.9 y to be equal to the 600 minus 600 r so our y will be equal to 600 or better yeah it will be 600 over 0 0.9 minus 600 r over 0 0.9 and y here can also be zero eh, sorry y can be equal to two and two two thousand sorry two thousand over three minus two thousand two thousand r over three so guys now we have y to be equal to two thousand over three minus two thousand r over three so this gives us our is function and with this then you we can move to the lm side with the lm that was given the money supply was so with the lm equation it has to be your money real real money demand should be equal to real money supply so with this the the real money was given in the question real money was given in the question which was or which is 100 plus 0 0.2 y minus 2000 i 2000 i and here the i is also the same as r they are all interest rates signifying uh, existence of interest rates and with the money 
demand, the sorry, the money supply, which was nominal, and which nominal money supply nominal uh, was three hundred, and they give us price to be two. So for it to be real, that means we have to divide price over price. We have to use price to divide the money supply, which gives us a nominal money supply. So you have three hundred over two which will be the real money supply and this will give us or will make our real money supply to be equal to 150 so we will just equate 150 to this function and solve okay so this is what we have now as far as the uh, lm is concerned money real money demand equals real money supply so now you group like terms where we have the 0.2 y standing on this side and to be equal to 150 minus 100 this one comes here and minus the 2000 i so what we have our y here will be equal to 50 over 0 0.2 this will divide through so 50 over 0 0.2 plus two hey this sorry this one crosses so it becomes positive here so we have 50 over 0 0.2 plus the 2000 i over 0 0.2 so our uh, lm will be y equals 250 plus 10,000 I. Yeah, let's try this and see. 50 divided by 0 0.2. Yeah, it gives us 250, so we are correct here. So now what the, the question, next question asks us that we should get an expression for the uh, is and the lm so this is the lm so this the first one that we did and this one they are the uh, expressions for the is and the lm now the second one says what we should sketch and before sketching for sketching we have to take them one by one and sketch we have to take them one by one and, and sketch and for the sketch to be very uh, simple for us, what we will do is that we have to take them one by one, as I said earlier. So let's say for the IS and our uh, IS equation or function was Y equals 2000 over 3 minus 2000 r over 3 also so what we do is that you firstly or uh, firstly you have to find the intercepts you have to find the intercepts so with this for the intercepts so that you can easily get the uh, sketch so here you say the intercept you say when r equals zero then that makes all this place zero so our y will be equal to 2000 over 3 so this will be the uh, r intercept and also when y equals zero what then is r so when y equals zero that means yes you create the whole of this to zero so what it will mean is that you have zero to be equal to 2000 over 3 minus 2000 r over 3 so here we can bring this one here so we will have 2000 r over 3 to be equal to 2000 over 3 here so here you can do cross multiply so doing cross multiply it to yeah we have this and this so two three uh, three times two thousand will give us six thousand 
and here also six thousand so this is what we have six thousand equals six thousand r and we are looking for r so our r will be equal to one so our first intercept for or the intercept for the is will be zero one Will be zero one that's the second uh, one sorry because the, the the first one was two two thousand over three against zero so when y was zero what was uh sorry when r was zero y was two thousand over three and when y was zero you have interest rate to be one so these are the two intercepts as far as the is is concerned so we will sketch this so when we have our x x y uh, plane so taking the first one which year will be the interest rate here will be in the interest rate and here will be our y so when y here okay let's pick this one when y is zero so y is zero r is one so we are here and the second one when oh let's let's bring it here here is one and here is zero so y zero r one so this is the point we have here and when you pick the second one which we have 2000 over 3 against 0 so with this you can point it on the calculator to give you a fair idea about uh, what this fraction can give you so we have 2.3 2000 divided by 3 And it's giving me six six hundred and sixty six point six 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 recurry. Recurry. So what we can do here also is that so I let's assume our six hundred and sixty six or whatever is at this side. So and this is y. So you plot it here and r is zero. So here is zero r is zero and y is six 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 but don't bring the decimal try to write the uh, the improper fraction 2000 over three here and so what it means is that you have to now join these two points so this is what that gives us our is so this gives us our is here and you go back to the lm also and now so this is the lm for lm we are about to find the intercepts for the lm also and this is the lm uh, equation so you find the intercepts and finding the intercepts at first i made mention earlier that here our i is the same as the interest rate and with this you can assume here to is r so you for the intercept we say when r equals zero so or i so this is also equal to i so it's equal to zero so that means the whole of this is zero and our y will be equal to 250 so the what we have here the coordinates that we have will be 250 against zero that's what we have for this and when y equals zero so y here is equal to zero so you find this so we have sorry you you have two is zero to be equal to 250 plus 10 and uh, 10,000 i or r so with this then you maintain this and bring this here any of the two sides that you bring it will still be negative so you said you have 
negative 250 should be equal to 10,000 i and we are finding for i so what we do divide through by i so our i will be equal to negative 1 over 40 if we are to punch it on the calculator you will have the 10,000 divided by 250. Hey, sorry, it's 250 over this rather because we divide both sides by uh, 10,000, 10,000. So it will be negative 250. So it will be negative, uh, sorry. Uh, negative 250 divided by 10,000. Uh -huh. So that's it. It has given us negative 1 over 40. Mm, guys, so this is the IS drawn when we drew it first. So this is how the IS looks like. And when we have uh, computed for the intercepts for the LM also, we have one to be uh, 250 and 0. So that means y is the 250 and the r is 0. So when r is 0 and y is 250, so assuming you have it here, you have 250 here, and this is the first point. And the second one, we have negative 0, y to be 0, and the r to be negative 1 over 40. And negative 1 over 40. Uh, can give us negative 0 0.025 so let's assume here is being located it's been located here so this is a negative region so here we have the 0 0.025 or negative 1 over 40 and why oh, yeah why being zero so this is where it will fall and this is one this is one also so you draw it and it crosses like this and here is it so this is our lm also so i s l m and the subsequent uh, question the question that follows says we should compute for the uh, equilibrium income or equilibrium output and the equilibrium interest rate so that means whatever we will compute it will fall here it will fall here so you have here to be equilibrium output here and here also to be our equilibrium interest rate so you go back and you know solve that one so the last question says we should compute the equilibrium national income and the interest rate and at equilibrium is should be equal to lm Please, this we should be mindful of this. We should write anything we want to solve. We should write it before we solve it. IS is equal to LM. And our IS equation was Y equals, this is the signal, and the LM also was Y equals something. So that means Y on the both sides are equal. So we just have to equate the uh, functions. So for the IS, we have 2000 over 3 minus 2000 r over 3 this is the is should be equal to the lm function which was 250 plus 10,000 i which we said is the same as uh, r so here you put it to be r so this is what we have and we will use this to solve the uh, e national equilibrium national income and the equilibrium interest rates so this one is like we have the lsm you can just uh, cross multiply this one so yeah multiply use the lcm to multiply it with this so when the lcm happens to be three then three will come here it will cancel this so you have yeah 2000 minus 2000 r to be equal to then the three will multiply this so you have uh, 250 times 3 and it gives us 750 
So here you have 750 plus. Then here also the 10,000 times 3. So you have 3 times 10,000. So you have what? 30,000. 30,000 R. 30,000 R. So you just group like terms here. So what we have here, you can have uh, uh, 2,000 here, then minus 750 to be equal to our 30,000 R year will come like this so it becomes positive plus what plus 2000 r so yeah 2000 minus 750 it gives us 1250 should be equal to this 3,000, uh, 30,000, sorry, 30,000, 30,000 plus 2,000, it should be 3,000, yeah, that would be 2,000, okay, 30,000 plus 2,000, so that is what, that gives us 32,000R. And we are looking for R, so we divide both sides by uh, 32,000. So our R will be equal to 1,250 over 32,000. Yeah, so this will be our R. And we can punch it in the calculator and see 1250 divided by. 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Yeah. It gives us a fraction of a reduced fraction of 5 over 128, which can also give us a decimal of 0 0.0390. But what we do is that we maintain this. So this is the equilibrium interest rate and with this equilibrium interest rate you can use it or easily put it in any of the uh, functions either the is function or the lm function to get your uh, nas equilibrium national income so let's quickly do that one and with this one this is the lm uh, function where we have 250 plus 10,000 R. Sorry, we have 10,000 R. Now we now know our R, so we have our 250 to be equal to zero. Anyway. So we have, yeah, 10,000. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, we are, this is, we've gotten our uh, R. So we are looking for a uh, y. Sorry, sorry. We are looking for y. So here will be equal to y because any of the uh, equations was being equal to y. So this equals y anyway. So yeah, ten uh, ten thousand. Then our r is two. A uh, sorry. Five over one twenty eight. Yeah, to be equal to y. So with this, you can easily uh, punch it in the calculator where we have 250 plus 10,000 yeah, okay, times 5 over 128. Yeah. So our y is equal to five thousand one twenty-five over eight, which can also give us 
or make our y to be 640.625. So this is our Nash equilibrium national income. So this is our equilibrium national income, and with this we can even uh, point it on the like on the graph or the sketch uh, diagram that we have we had earlier. So you point this to there, and we have come to the end of our lesson on the ISLM model. When we said that the IS model, the ISLM model is a macroeconomic model, and this simply means the interaction in the goods market and the money market. And we note that with these two, they are also independent equilibrium on each, like on themselves. And the IS, which means that the investment equals savings and it's an equilibrium on each one, as well as the LM also. For any uh, question or anything that you need from us, you can you know, send any question at all. After watching the video, you can send any question at all to this WhatsApp number 024-0670-310. You can WhatsApp, WhatsApp any question at all any question at all to through this number and we will solve it and get back to you at the appropriate time once again don't forget to subscribe and also share the link with your colleagues thank you for your time